one, we are back for another fabric haul. I love these videos. Y'all seem to love these videos. I am so excited to be showing you what I have planned for summer. Um, I just did a video on all my makes that I made for spring, so if you want to go check those out, um, it'll be linked down below. But yeah, let's get into the goodies. These uh, fabric hauls are a top of video, so get yourself like your favorite drink, a snack, whatever, and let's go over some yummy, yummy goodies. So. Oh my goodness, um, we have a lot to go through and I am, I'm always super excited about it. Um, it's just, it's so, if you haven't ordered from Farmhouse, you really should go give them a try. Uh, if you're new to my channel, they, they don't, like, they don't sponsor my videos, they don't pay me to stay in here, this, they don't pay me to make any of these videos, um, but they do provide all of the materials that you're about to see, which I am so super grateful for and um, very appreciative. They help power this channel uh, and it's, just, it's a wonderful partnership that we have. But yeah, I'm not being paid uh, to say, don't think that I'm being influenced. I have a bond from them personally from 2009 and this little partnership that we have going on has been for a couple years now that I'm on the YouTube. So um, I personally purchased it from them and that's why I feel so confident attaching my name to their um, to their service, and that's really what makes them stand apart, is their service. Their products are wonderful, they are a distributor, um, they were founded and um, they are owned and founded by Sally Winter of Farmhouse Fabrics. She's the one who got all of the magic going and she goes and she'll find worldwide the best of the best and she distributes them to all of us. So we are very lucky for all of it, that all the work that she puts in and all the rest of the people at Farmhouse, because it is not easy selling things that you really want to feel and see, see in person online. But she has figured out how to do it and make it all accessible to us. So, ah, do we see all the goodies? This is their packaging. It always comes, you know, neatly packaged like this with their little bows and wrapped. In, in this little bit of plastic for protection. And so it's just like, I mean, it's just fun, you know? Like, it's just like Christmas when their packages arrive. It's fun placing the order. I have a video on, on tips if you're kind of like a little bit weary on where to start with ordering online, you know, for fabric, because I understand that it's weary, or not weary, but it can be uh, overwhelming or something, not being able to touch and feel and see and everything like that before you buy. But, um, I have a I have like a little video that might be helpful for you. Anywho, so once you place your order, then you're waiting for it, and when it arrives, it is like a the best day ever. So we are going to get into this. Henry right now is sleeping, so hopefully he will be sleeping through this whole thing, and we won't get to hear his roar in the background. Daisy is jumping and that is what you're hearing. So, let me organize all of these goodies. Okay, so, so for starters, let's go with 4th of July. Um, I have all of this gingham for 4th of July. For some reason, I, I just gravitate towards gingham. It's so sweet on babies, especially for 4th of July. It's like my, my thing. I've done it the last couple years, and I think it's really, really sweet. So we've got three. I'm going to try to keep these all intact. This is their signature. It's like a little infinity swoop that they, um, isn't that cool, that they do and they put their fingers out and they twist around and around and around and around and it's gonna, I'm gonna go past oh. it, right? I just wanna make sure that okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. It's really neat. And that's how they they uh you know, all piping and lace and trims and doodads arrive to you. So I have um three of this begin. This is my first time using this stuff and I think it's gonna be so sweet. So I've got three colors. I've got the baby pink for Daisy, and that's going to be paired with this blue um, uh, spaghetti trim, and then a little blue button. And for Audrey, she is going to have the kind of this blue, um, and this is interface, it said online. 
my first time using this fabric. Yeah, it's like Interface, which is kind of neat. Um, so it should lay very nicely. And it's going to be paired with the... Oh, and also Daisy has this blue ruffle, and then Audrey has the red ruffle with this red trim here. And then a little red button. You see what I'm doing? And then for Sweet Henry, um, he has a... I'm going to make a red... Um, he's got the red, and I'm going to make the C.C. Robert shirt for him, and I'm going to pipe it out of this, like, the blue and red. He's going to tie everybody together, you see, with the blue buttons. So I think that'll be super sweet, and then, excuse me, I think I'll just put Henry in, like, um, some jeans or something of that sort, some jean shorts. And I think that'll be really adorable. I'm doing, like, um, C.C. Franny baby for uh, Daisy, and then Audrey, I think she's getting either C.C. Franny or Lucy, I can't remember which, but I think it'll be really sweet and very looking forward to that. And it should be really easy mix, you know, all of that makes up, especially CC Franny and um, Lucy, if you're looking for like a beginner's pattern, those are some great beginner's patterns and I have really tutorials on all of that. So if you are in need, um, go check those out. So that is 4th of July then. Moving on, let's move on to Audrey's birthday dress because it is going to be a something. Um, and I was talking to Kristen. Kristen is Sally, one of Sally's daughter-in-laws, and she also works at Farmhouse Fabrics. And I was talking to her about this order, and I was saying, you know, I really want to get back into making dresses for myself. If you don't know, that's how I got into sewing way back when, you know, 15 years ago or, or more because I'm getting older. That's all right. Um, but I got into dresses way back when, love making dresses for myself. I have made a few hundred dresses for myself back in the day, and I wanted to get back into it, but then I just started like collecting projects, you know, of I was doing my order, and I was like, this product for this kid, and that one for that one, and that one. Before I knew it, I had like 10 or 11 garments, and I'm like, there's only so much time. So I thought, you know, there's going to be a day, maybe four or five years from now, when I get back into doing dresses for myself, but today is not the day. I rather, and, and you know, there's other sewing mamas out there that are getting, there's like a group of us, right, on, online that share our sewing, and there's, a, there's some of them that are getting into sewing for themselves, and I am so happy for them. I'm not trying to talk bad about them at all. I'm really happy that they're doing it, and they're sharing their experiences and everything, but for me, um, and, and in my sewing journey, I have some things that I really want to do for the kiddos, and I just only have so much time. So here we are. This is going to be a dress for Audrey for her fourth birthday. I love the birthday outfits. I just think they're so sweet, even in times, you know, even in this bizarre time that we're in with COVID-19, not being able to have parties and whatnot. I think that it's so great to have a fancy outfit and to take photos. And I think those photos are something that you just treasure, you know, because they grow up so fast and they change so much and from year to year. And, um, even month to month sometimes, I mean, when you're this young, month to month, their face is a completely different person. So, anyway, I'm making a white um, dress for Audrey. It is going to be heavily embellished um, with some hand embroidery, and that's going to be done using the floche. I'm going to be doing something I think is a little bit unconventional. I'm going to be doing cut work with floche. I think it's going to be fine, and so I'm just going to go for it. Um, so, what this is, is this is a... Um, I think it's a, I think it's a Batiste. Let me just make sure. It's a voile. Okay, so it's a voile, and it feels like a step down from organdy. Organdy is kind of has that, you know, that body that stands out like organza wood or whatever. It feels kind of like that, and that's what I was asking Kristen about. I wanted something that wasn't quite to the point of organdy, but did, you know, kind of bellow out a little. And so I think this is just going to be lovely. And then is this the this is Nola right here, and that is going to be it for the overlay for this dress I'm making for her. And then this is what is this? I think that's the Legacy Batiste, which I've never tried before. It's um, it is a very smooth, even, kind of kind of like a tighter, tighter weaved Batiste. It's really nice. Um, so that is going to be her dress. I've also got this cording um, that is it's sold for piping cording, but I'm going to use it for something else on the dress. It's a it's Vaughn. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's $5 for 110 yards. 
so you can't beat that. Um, and then it's got a fat corner of Swiss organ organdy. I was about to say organza. <laughs> Swiss organdy, which is cotton. Um, and I'm going to make some butterflies out of that. You'll see what I mean. And then I've got these leaf, lovely leaf mother pearl buttons. You all right? And yeah, all the flush that goes with it, which are just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So, super excited about that. That pattern is actually going to be one of my own. And you will be seeing all about that pattern once I have the dress made. It'll be like every waking hour for the next month to get this dress made because it is a doozy. But I'm super excited about it and um, yeah, dresses for myself will come one day. <laughs> one day. There's just things that I want to get out and get done while they're little and like I said, you only have so much time. And I'm not talking bad about anybody, any sewing mom who's sewing for herself, go for it. It's just, it's just not what I want to do. Um, or at least I want to do it, but I don't have enough time to do everything and I have bigger energy. I think you're getting what I'm trying to say. So this then is a project. This is using a wink and a nod pattern. This is my first time using a pattern from them. Um, they don't have baby patterns. So with Audrey, I was like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then it just it never happened. So I want to get to it now. Um, I'm going to be making the sissy dress and I'll do a tutorial on that. I will also do an embroidery tutorial which I was inspired by another YouTuber and her a tutorial on this embroidery motif. So I'm going to be applying that to the dress. I'll have a video on that and then I'll have a separate video tutorial for Sissy. Um, and that is going to be that and it has this, it's like a lilac -y, lavender. I would be horrible at like doing the colors description for Farhouse. So I'm like, it's a light purple. It's lavender. I don't know. It's pretty. <laughs> but, um, it also has this, uh, this like check, um, pink micro, um, uh, not micro, bouquet edging. This is really cool stuff. They've got a bunch of this. It is a bi it's on a bias band, so it goes really well, you know, around a neckline, an armhole, um, whatever, curves, him. It's a very easy way to, to finish up a raw edge. So that is going to be that garment. And then these two are going to be so sweet. I'm going to do matching dresses for the girls. Oh, that's a piece of my cord, right? Uh, matching dresses for the girls. So here you've got this, like, um, it's not steer sucker. What is it? I hear you, Daisy. I hear you. She's getting ready for a nap. What is it? Do you see it? It is Tear Sucker. I need more coffee. Okay. Um, so it's Tear Sucker. <laughs> it's Tear Sucker. It's like a light pink and white Tear Sucker. And then the other one is this, um, this a, it's a Fabric Finders lovely print. I've seen it for a little while. And a side note, the Fabric Finders had this in a different color and apparently they're no longer making that one. So if you are like me and you've seen this for a while and you want to get your hands on it, go and get your hands on this fabric, um, this color combination because apparently, I don't know, they're not making it or something. I'm not really sure. But then there's the trims that go along with it. I think they're going to be really sweet and um, covered gingham buttons. So those are going to be some really quick and easy makes. I think I'm going to do like CC Lucy or something um, and make up some matching garments for the girls. Because that's fun, right? From summer dresses. See, the thing, I made summer dresses, or not summer dresses, I made fall dresses for Audrey this past fall. I made her a, a handful of them, and the sweet thing has worn them, like, she's worn them out. I've never seen a fabric button, a covered, a covered button, like, wear out. Like, the fabric on it is worn. The sweet thing wears them all the time. She loves them. She loves that they've been made by her mother, and, like, she asked me, you know, what I'm making next for her and all sort of stuff, and so while she's in that, I'm just going to eat it up and keep sewing for her. So that's that, and it's going to match her sister, which I think she'll just adore. Then sweet Henry, I'm going to make him, like, a little, um jumper sort of thing for summer and that's going to be out of this seersucker gingham is that what it's called? yeah seersucker blue check um, it is a fabric finders and it's going to have these little sweet cars on them and the gingham um, piping so that will be a really little sweet outfit for him then what else? I think I'm done with my last one. This is going to be a white dress, 
with some white lace. It will also be a pattern that I'm doing um, to come. It, it'll be like a kind of gear towards beginners. If you haven't done heirloom stuff before, but you want to get your, you know, dip your toe in the water and see how it feels doing some lace work and whatever, this is going to be a pattern geared towards you, and I'll have videos on it as well. And it's a, a little bit of a tribute to somebody special. So I'm going to get that all done before I get away any more details with that. And that's the fabric haul. That's what we're doing for summer. I hope it's inspiring for all of y'all. And um, yeah, things I love with summer, you know, gingham, seersucker, uh, just the fun colors, the fun prints. It's just, it's great. I think spring is like, you know, you have your pastels and your whites and your heirloom really shines a lot in springtime. And in the summertime, you get, you know, the bold colors out with your ginghams and your and just the fun prints and then come time for fall and winter you have all the textures right all the textures you're swimming in all the little little bits of fabric as you rip them and, and sew them up and everything like that and all the threads and just all the little all the little stuff so yeah we're getting ready for nap time i hope this was a, a fun video for y'all if y'all have any questions on anything please put them down in the comments below as always the links will be in the description box and I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope to catch y'all on the next one. Thanks, guys. Good job, sweetie. You ready for a nap? Yeah, you ready for a nap? Okay, let's go.